My grandfather started this farm in 1919. The family has uh, continued to farm this property for pretty near 100 years, 95 years. I'm a second generation ocean spray grower owner. We're here in Middleborough at what we call our Grant Farm. This uh, farm is actually contracted with ocean spray between myself and my son Spencer. He was the youngest ocean spray grower owner at a year and a half, so uh, very proud of this farm. My dad bought a small farm that I grew up on. Any chance I got to be down on the bogs with him, I jumped at. Myself and my family are fifth generation cranberry growers. Right now I have my daughter involved, my son-in-law involved, and I have a grandson that's beginning to work for us now. So we're very much into this cranberry business. I'm very proud to be an Ocean Spray grower owner. I think that there's a reputation and quality that goes with Ocean Spray as, as a product, but also as a cooperative. More importantly, it's those 700 family farms that are part of my family, they're part of my farm. I hope this is a farm that's here for years to come for our children to enjoy. Here in Massachusetts, we're the pioneers of cranberry farmers. Uh, we're dealing with old natural beds that vary in size. We have some bogs where we can harvest in half a day. We have other bogs like the one I'm sitting in front of now that may take four to five days to harvest. My favorite part of the harvest, I guess, is, is it's your whole year's worth of work. So once this crop is off, we're already starting to look at what next year's crop looks like with your uprights. People think the cranberries grow in water all season long, but the truth is, is the bogs dry for most of the season. When it's time to harvest in September, we add water to the beds. We bring the water just up into the vines. All the berries are still attached to the vine, right? But they begin to float. We've flooded this bog over with about six to eight inches of water. And we're using these real machines now, a machine with a large spindle on the front, it acts like an egg beater. And that egg beater reaches underneath the water surface. Agitates the vines enough to let the berries float to the surface of the water. And they float to the top because they have four hollow air pockets on the inside. We add additional water, which allows them to float up above the vines and any weeds that may be present. This bog is the culmination of um, about 30 acres of water that we bring down. And then we go around with what we call a boom. It's just a bunch of boards all tacked together. And we hustle all the berries. We wrap all the berries into a corner. The pumps that we use to pump the fruit off the bogs were originally designed to pump live fish. They're very delicate to the fruit. They don't bruise or damage the fruit at all. We pump through a cleaning system. A good cranberry slide into the truck where we can bring it to Ocean Spray. In a nutshell, that's the cycle that we go through. Mother Nature is my boss, and uh, that's it. I listen, uh, and to my wife. This is what we love to do, and when you find something you love to do, you give it your all. Have you ever seen a corral of red cranberries? It's got to be probably, if not the most beautiful thing in the world, it's got to be the next most beautiful thing in the world. It is just vivid. I came in with an airplane one time, landing in Boston. I looked down at Southeast Massachusetts, and it's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. 